I'm going to now design a leg mechanism, a six bar leg mechanism with an integrated skew pantograph. We start with our four bar linkage and a coupler curve. Now I've already copied it over and, and in a way that I can rotate the base link so I can reposition the foot mechanism to get it aligned with the ground. In order to construct the pantograph, I'm, we simply choose a point in the coupler. I'm going to choose, say, this point here. And so it's part of the coupler link. And I'm going to color this a light color. Now I'm going to be able to adjust this point <coughs> and change the properties of the um, resulting leg mechanism. I'm going to copy this uh, over to here because I want this point uh, on my mechanism. So let's do that right now. So we'll measure from this point to from here to here and then up to here. Let's see what angle that is. Oh, that's iota. I have trouble with iota. So let me, I can never find it on the list of Greek letters. I'll do it again so I get a kappa. Okay, so let's copy it over here. Got to copy it, use the angle of the given size. So copy it here. Kappa, it's in this list that I can never seem to find the iota. There's probably a way to get it. All right, so there's one side. Now we'll get the other, we'll measure the other side. And there's that. And that's mu. Angle of the given size here to here. Okay. Whoops. There it is. Mu. Uh, and we'll draw the line from here to there. I'm going to move this around a little bit, see if I can separate that point so I don't get confused. Now we'll take the intersection here, and there's my triangle now copied over onto here. Let me get these points out of the, out of the way. And this one. And I can hide these lines as well. Now this is the, this is going to be my triangle that defines my skew pantograph. Uh, and I'm going to add parallel lines here. To this point here. And then I'm going to intersect, oops, these two lines. And I have the segment here. Let's make it magenta. And the segment here is going to make cyan. Let's hide these lines. We don't need them anymore. Make sure everything's working fine. And then I can now move this around and change the properties of my skew pantograph. To complete this skew pantograph, I'm going to copy this triangle onto this side. We know what the prop we know what those angles are. It's kappa. Kappa and now mu. Ah, I keep forgetting, sorry. And now 
out and you all right. So that completes the triangle. We'll intersect these two. Hide these points just to keep, them, keep mixing things up. There we go. And we're going to move the lines. And this will be our make it a polygon. This will be our leg. And this will be this will generate the foot that point. This point will generate the foot trajectory. It's, it should be a copy of this couplet curve. Let's see what we get. It is rotated and scaled. And the rotation angle and the dimension and how big it is is all determined by the choice of this point. I have a stray point here I'm going to get rid of, or a hide. And what we'll do now is rotate the leg around so that we can place it towards the ground. I'll introduce a parallel line so that we can see it. There we go. All right, and there is our leg with an integrated screw, skew, excuse me, skew habitat. Let's animate it, see what it looks like. All right. Thank you very much.